The world's fine art department continues to dominate. Titans get a three-day weekend. And some of your favorite YouTubers may be going away. Titan TV starts now. Good morning, Titans. My name is Tony Martinez. And I, my name is Elise Hunt. Today is Wednesday, April 11th, 2017. We start off our broadcast with news about continued success with our fine arts department. This past Saturday, 50 choir students from all three grades participated in the district's solo and ensemble competition at Byron Nielsen. 42 of these students won a Division I reading, with the remaining eight winning a Division II. A few of our Titans were selected as outstanding vocalists. Riley Bottomley, James Dewberry, Abby Horn, Brady Hansen, Nitucky Moeta, and Moses Snow were named outstanding. This Thursday is the orchestra's spring concert starting at 6.30 p.m. and lasting till 8.30. Show up and support your fellow Titan Orchestra. We've been hearing some things with YouTube and their ads. We went to Titan TV's Ethan Jackson for more information. Hey Titans, if you don't keep up with YouTube news, recently YouTube has had a lot of companies pull out their ads from YouTube due to a Wall Street Journal report. Companies like Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Walmart, Verizon, and Starbucks, just to name a few, had their ads pop up during racist or extremist videos. These companies do not want their name associated with said videos. YouTube is having a hard time pay people who make videos on YouTube and bring a lot of income to them. Famous YouTuber Ethan Klein, or better known as H3H3 Productions, claimed that the screenshots were fake due to the video being unmonetized before the screenshots were taken, saying the reporter photoshopped the shots. However, the video was still making money. The money was just going to the owner of a racist song that was playing in the background due to copyright claims. Since then, YouTube has put in a limit that affects newer YouTubers. Now in order to make money from YouTube, you must have 10,000 total views before you can partner with somebody to make money. This may be a problem for Titans who are avid YouTube watchers because you might see some of your favorite YouTubers die out. This may be a good thing for some of us who have trouble getting our homework done. Now back to Titan TV. Thanks Ethan. Speaking of new things, the universe is getting a new sign. This year, NASA officially decided to add something new to the Zodiac. It left a few people wondering just what does it mean and if it totally messes up their world. Here to sort things out is Evelyn Volts. Due to the new sign that states that the other signs have changed, Cap Libra has changed to Virgo, Capricorn to Sagittarius, Aquarius to Pisces, Pisces to Aries, Taurus to Gemini, Cancer to Leo, and Virgo to Libra. Scorpio and to the new one, Aphicius. Enjoy your new zodiac signs. Sorry for ruining your day. Now back to Titan TV. Thanks, Evelyn. Don't forget that this weekend, Titans are off Friday for Easter break. We'll have school on Monday, the day after Easter. Make sure your parents are aware that we don't have off on Monday. Titans recently participated in a competition called Book Brawl. Here with more is Emily Roberts. As you may have heard, Book Brawl has been going around school lately. We went to ask Ms. McCray some questions about this event. The book brawl is sort of the battle of the books, but middle school. Mm -hmm. uh, so a similar competition where students read some books and then they have to answer questions regarding details from the book. There's five middle schools and each middle school can bring up to three teams. We have one very solid 
team this year. However, total, we're, we'll have 13 teams in the district. Well, it's really intense because all the teams are in one place at one time. The uh, question master asks the question and all of the teams have 30 seconds to answer the question or to present the title of the book that they think the question came from. So it's really, really intense because there's 77 questions so and it's only one round. Um, this is our second year in a row doing it. Um, we just started last year at the middle school, so this is our second year. But of course it has a long history in elementary school. Now back to Titan TV. Thanks, Emily. This week is Child Abuse Awareness Week. Tomorrow, make sure to wear all blue and show your awareness for child abuse. For this week's group on typical sports department activities, we go to Titan TV's TJ Caldwell. Hey Titans, it's TJ with your sports support. So congratulations to, to whoever went to the Meet of Champions and the wrestling match is for Tate Wall is here today. Now back to Titan TV. Thanks TJ. For some information on Tony Romo, we go to Titan TV's Diego Griffiths. Tony Romo, a Dallas hero, leaving his job of quarterback for the Cowboys to go work as a CBS sports anchor. To honor Tony Romo, we have prepared a special little dedication for him. This is the Tony Romo Legacy. Tony Romo will certainly be missed from the Cowboys roster, but it's great to know that he left on a good note. I'm Diego Griffiths, and now back to Titan TV. That's all we have for today, Titans. Tune in next week for all the latest things in all Titans. Have a great day, Titans.